Hey YouTube, Piled On Reviews here, and today I'm going to be making a review of the Seiko SNAE56 watch. I got this watch off of Amazon uh, by the company of uh, Watch Zone, and it was $280, but I've seen them at Costco for $230 at some times. Uh, it's a pretty nice box. Compact. You open it up. And inside there's this pillow where the watch is actually wrapped around. I don't have the watch on it. Uh, you get the tag for the watch. More packaging. Then you get two instruction manuals and then you get a postcard you can send in to join their newsletter. Uh, this is one of the this is the instruction manual that contains the limited warranty that every Seiko watch comes with. And then this is the real instruction manual. The watch itself is very uh, handsome looking. It's stainless steel, and I believe the gold parts are uh, gold bladed. I'm not sure. The crown or the face is charcoal colored. If you can't see that there, uh, it's quartz movement, so it's battery powered, and uh, it's 100 meter water resistant. Uh, chronograph. It has an alarm feature, the date feature right there. The chronograph feature is really nice. Uh, it measures up to 60 minutes for tw up to 12 hours uh, in one fifth second increments. And uh, the big second hand that you see here can be started by pressing this button. You can see it moving. That's the second hand for the stopwatch or chronograph. And, uh, the alarm feature also works really well. It's uh, about as loud as my voice is right now, so it could it could probably wake you up if you were sleeping, if you had it near your uh, ear. And uh, the date works well. It has a cabochon crown right here, which is a nice added feature. The stopwatch second hand and the regular hour and minute hand are all luminous, oh, uh, as well as the uh, the twelve three, six, and nine hour marker. Uh, and so that's kind of nice. The luminosity isn't as well, isn't as good as I uh, would have anticipated it to be, but it does the job. Besides the luminosity, my only major complaint is that the second hand of the stopwatch or chronograph uh, doesn't line up perfectly vertically. Uh, and it's about a half a second off to the right. But and I would have expected that to be better for the price of the watch. Despite despite being bumped and scratched on various surfaces, uh, the watch is held up pretty well. It's only minorly scratched uh, on various spots of the watch, but you can't can't see it from far away. And the sapphire glass has held up really nice, and it ha it doesn't have a single scratch uh, despite being hit on those surfaces. So overall, it's a great watch. Let me try to get it on my hand here. It's definitely worth the price. I'm happy with it. And I'd recommend it to all of you guys. So, thank you for watching.